Hi there. The trees are lovely, green and thick. But I have promises to keep miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Beloved friends, remember the robot frost snowing at the evening. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Beloved friends, that should be the spirit of an enlightened man, an awakened man. Life is very short. You have to live with your dreams, your aspirations, your desires, your ideals, your visions, your promises. You have to maintain a sound physical health. You have to have a positive mental attitude. You must develop personal initiative. You should develop a willpower to win. You have to cultivate determination, perseverance, persistence. Seek the cooperation of the best. Work coherently in the direction of the attainment of your goal because you have a definite chief in your life backed by your burning desire. You have also a very practical plan of action and you are persevering it persistently, patiently, without quitting, without stopping, without giving up, without surrendering before reverses, oppositions, adversities and misfortune. And then you also remember the six basics mentioned in Think and Grow Rich by the great Napoleon Hill. The six measures are Desire, decision, faith, persistence, mastermind alliance, and well-organized planning. These are the various steps. If it is progressively implemented, acted upon with tremendous faith, willing to go extra mile, you are bound to be successful in life. And one most powerful thing what has happened to mankind is the gift of the greatest Almighty Father, the infinite intelligence in the form of your brain, the mind. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for you. Mind, the supreme intelligence. And all mankind have equal right on the mind. All are made from the same intelligent substance. So everyone has the potential to grow bigger and bigger, greater and greater. As per their desire, how big they want. As per their imagination, how lofty their dreamings. Because mind such as no limitations, there is no boundary, nobody has found as yet. The most intelligent persons on earth have hardly used 9 to 10% of the intelligence. So there is always a scope for every human being. If they are really a valiant person, determined person and have sincere responsibility. They are on guard and vigilant to scale the new heights, new horizon, set new milestones. That is very much possible for any man. Nobody has done so great that another cannot do or can do much more than what anybody has done. Beloved friends, this is only my Sincere advice to all my friends. Buzzard your time, money and energy. And everything is possible once you are enjoying a very sound physical health because the most powerful brain is just staying in that body. The body is a temple. The sound health provides this opportunity to the intelligent substance of your brain to work very effectively, very sincerely and can yield you whatever you dream and desire in your life. That is inevitable. You have to rely on the power of your mind, but you have to give all the nourishment to the body. Body can be very strong once you are providing all the basic needs, the nutrition. You need to have sufficient food, plenty of water, 
फ्रेश एयर लॉट ऑफ सोलर रेडिएशन विच प्रोवाइड्स यू वाइटामिन डी सो दैट योर बोन्स आर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड धैन यू हैव टू हैव ए साउंड स्लीप इन द नाइट सो एवरी अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग वेन यू गेट अप यू आर हैविंग ए वेरी फ्रेश very very strong body like this rock and you become rock solid person and then you are focusing your mind your coordinated action and effort with tremendous belief and faith directly in the control the super power of your brain towards the realization of the worthy ideals in life beloved friends but this i have told you only the material needs of the body but what is the most important thing for the body to be very very powerful is the emotional satisfaction you need lot of love lot of care lot of motivation lot of encouragement and lot of patting on the back of yours because that can make you a giant a man who is inspired by his spouse a female who is inspired inspired by his man they have performed the greatest thing on earth and in hindi or in hindu religion you will find the wife the better half is called ardhangini means they are the half part of your life half part of your body they compliment you they supplement you and they make you implement all your dreams desire goals in life without the strong woman behind a man no great man has ever done great things in life take the example of Abraham Lincoln his wife was the greatest source of inspiration to him though he has failed several time till 40 he has no scope of becoming great but with the influence of his wife he can really become the 16th president of america the greatest human being who has really set a milestone for all mankind how to be kind generous compassionate and judicious if you take the example of dr napoleon hill he was inspired by his wife his mother also take the example of henry ford he was also a timid and shy boy ambitious but not having the courage faith and belief and conviction but he just spouse his wife was an anchor she was the lady of love and she filled the heart mind and soul of that great henry ford and he became the richest and the greatest man who really gave us the self propelled automobile beloved friends the whole history if you remind you will find behind every great man there is a great woman forget about great man forget about great lady common man like you and me also need love the care the affection the sharing of the love of a woman i tell you beloved friends mind is very drifting just like waves it is very difficult to concentrate and focus unless all the wants and needs of the body are satisfied a hungry man cannot concentrate a thirsty man cannot concentrate a man who is ill cannot do great job a man who is sexually starving because sex power is the most powerful thing which god has gifted to mankind that has to be an outlet if a man is suppressing his sex and his gratification is not done this man cannot concentrate his mind and once his mind is not concentrated and focused on a definite chief end of his life the mind cannot be effective it will be just drifting and the man will be drifting in the ocean of uncertainty and he will be frustrated and disgusted discouraged man losing belief and faith and self reliance beloved friends everyone need love everyone need the basic needs of the body i have myself realized in life that if your all wants and needs are satisfied you can really take full possession of your mind embrace it and use it focus it like a laser beam and then you can melt even the granite even this granite you can melt because that is the power of the brain but the brain 
needs to be totally concentrated, totally focused, and there is only one definite purpose in your life, is to attain your goal, realize your dream, give the fulfillment of your noble thoughts and purity and thoughts. Beloved friends, I gave you a modern example. The world best tennis player, Roger Federer. Look at him. He is a complete man. He has four children. His wife Mirka is a source of inspiration. This guy f fell in love with that woman and since then they are united and his all needs are gratified and satisfied. So this man has nothing except to win Grand Slams after Grand Slams and he has won 17 Grand Slams. Being the oldest man in the fray, still he is a force to reckon with and he is beating the best here and there in different occasions. So beloved friends, don't try to suppress your needs, your desires, bodily, spiritual, emotional. Once you are a complete man, once your all wants and needs are gratified and satisfied, you are only able to take full possession of your brain and control and direct it towards attainment of your definite chief aim in life. Otherwise, the brain is very flexible, it is very much drifting, you cannot control it. And most of the time it will be attracted towards things which it gives place in the heart, which secretly your soul loves it. And who does not like to have a good girlfriend or a good boyfriend? Who does not l like to have a great woman or a great man? So never be shy. The conservative society will not like it. Remember it. As the great Steve Jobs said, we should not live our life for the dreams of others. We should not follow the dictates, the commands and orders of the people. They do not know our need. We are the best judge to know what we want, what is the basic requirement for our life. So live your life for your dreams. The life is too short. Don't suppress your emotion. Don't suppress your any wants and desires in life. In the prevailed social circumstances, there is remedy for everything else. There is a social system made so that you can gratify all the needs of your life. And then you will take full possession of your body, brain, mind, intelligence. Now you are spiritually strong, physically very bold and courageous, mentally the most intelligent supreme man. And who can stop you? Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a great man, my son, my brothers, my sisters, my brothers, whatever you are. So be wise, be brave, live your own life, know your own needs, and never forget the wise words of the great Ralph Waldo Emerson, the source of inspiration for the millions of the wisest people on earth. The poor consistency is the hobgoblin of the ordinary persons, the mediocres, and it is never appreciated by great men. The great man is not bound in conformity. They are having their own ways, own means. They are always striving, seeking and finding new ideas, new horizons, new thoughts, lofty dreams, new visions, new promises. And that's why they are becoming so great. And I remind you, I started with Robert's first line. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. I end with Robert's first poem. Have your own road. Get your own way. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hands. Two roads diverge in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. If you want to make a great difference, if you want to make a dent in the universe, if you want to leave some milestones in this universe, you have to be an original thinker. Use your own intelligence. 
And nothing can give you peace but the triumph of your own principles, thoughts and ideas. Your success is adjusting yourself with the surroundings, the environment, the conditions, because compromise without compromising on your principles, you will be prosperous and nobody is deprived from any opportunity. But your needs, your desires, which is socially approved, your all basics, fulfillment of your aspirations must be done. And once your body is strong, your mind will be situated in that complete, serene, calm environment and then it will work very effectively. Remember it. You can do it if you believe you can. Be a thinking man. Be a noble man. Be a great man. Recognize the power of your mind, but give it sufficient conditions and environment and circumstances so that you can well control it and direct it towards attaining some supreme goals in life. And goal must be to be the great servant of the mankind, to make millions of people more successful, have love so much that your burning desire is to wipe tears from every person who is deprived, who is not having all the abundance, all the opportunities to be great in life. And then, beloved friends, you are a man, because man is his own star, and the soul that can render honest and a perfect man, which commands all light, all influence and fate. Our acts, our angel are good or ill, and the shadow that walk by still. So that thought of greatness, of gratification of your basic needs, can really make you great. Thought in the mind has made you. What you are and you will be, will be wrought out by only thoughts. And man is mind. Remember it. Man is mind. So be a great man. You can be only a great man once you are using your great mind. Thank you very much. Be brave, be courageous, be bold, be valiant. You may be a deviant. Socrates was, just as Christ was, Buddha was. They never imitated anyone else. Envy is sin, imitation is suicide. Be brave, live your life, gratify your all basic needs without hurting and harming others. Be a light among the person who are living the darkness. Illuminate their brain, mind, heart and soul. And I thank you very much and I love you really very much. Thank you. Thank you.